Martin Luther King event, I Have a Dream, presented by the Times Explorer DC 63, Region Magic Washington DC, where Dr. Martin Luther King gives his iconic speech. I Have a Dream speech alongside Fortnite players from all over the world listen to this defining civil rights movement. I'm not down with this, to be honest. I think it's just pandering. Like, kids do not play Fortnite to be preached to or to be educated. Like, this video game is supposed to be about escapism, escaping from reality. Like, why do we need why do we need this in a video game? In my opinion, it's 100% pandering. It's 100% vir virtue signaling. Most kids don't care about this. They just want to play Fortnite. <laughs> they just want to play their game. I, I don't understand why. And, and this is a community creation. It's not epic doing, but they're promoting it. You know, it's a community creation, which is fine, but I just don't, I don't think it's necessary. And this is coming from a black man. So like you just, it's more virtue signaling, more pandering, more video games trying to educate and be political, make political statements. And we just don't need that. Everything has to be political. I mean, it's just, if people really, I, mean, I don't want to be just, I mean, this, you know, this, this is an iconic speech that everyone knows, and I gotta say, it's well done, I'm not, but if you, if you really wanted to learn about Martin Luther King, if you really cared, if you wanted to know your history, you do the research yourself. You shouldn't have to rely on a video game to force it down your throat. I mean, just look at this, bro. Like, I just, I'm just not... I don't hate it. It's just I, I, just, I just don't know why it's a thing. It's every everything in, in everything in the media has to be inclusive in some way. Uh, he just left because most people just do this just to get to reward and then they leave and they never come back to it. Like, do you do you really think kids are just gonna sit here for like what 20 minutes for the 20 minute speech just to be preached to? Oh, well, he's gone. Yeah, this is, they really, it, it, it's this definitely just a PR thing, bro. It's 100% virtue signaling. I just can't imagine any kid wanting, you know, being excited for this, you know, or, you know, asking for this. Oh, another one gone. Most everybody left already. Only nine people in here. Most everybody left, because I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, kids don't care about this kind of stuff. If they did, they would do the research themselves. They would go and they would actually like if they really wanted to know about their history, they'd do it themselves. They wouldn't have they don't need a video game to preach to them about it. Plus when you do it this way, people can be super disrespectful. I guess we can run around and see the rest of this map. With no disrespect. Obviously the person who made this did a lot of you know, they put a lot of work into this. Oh gravity game. Look, they put different games, puzzles around the map. Yeah, we have, you know, Martin Luther King's sp speech, you know, most, one of the most iconic speeches of all time. Talking about real life issues, about, you know, like racial profiling issues. Yeah, but let, let's let's run around the map and play some puzzles and games. Okay, fall into time. One part the activists used to fight segregated city restaurants. I know this launch carry cities. Like yeah, I know my history. I don't I just don't know why like you see it. I mean it's like like I said, if you want to know your history, you actually do it yourself. Do the research. You go to the I, I mean I've been to the Martin Luther King I've been to the museum before. We know this, Rosa Parks. Like I've actually been to Black History Museum. Wouldn't it have been better to do this during Black History Month or to do this, you know, around the time of Martin Luther King Day or something? I know, I, I have a feeling that this is not voting well with people. I can I can I can say with certainty that like Epic is probably gonna be getting a lot of flack for this. Because it's one hundred percent a virtue signal. It's one hundred percent pandering. Games do not need to be Political in any way. I mean, you make it so hard for you. Got to understand, a, a kid does not have a very 
long attention span. I mean, you got all these games and puzzles around. They're going to be playing around these games and puzzles. They're not going to be care. They're not going to care about the speech. They're not going to care to listen to the speech. They're just going to be doing all these games and puzzles. They're going to quit after a few minutes because they're going to get bored. They're going to go back to playing battle royale. That's the problem with you know video games right now. They want to try to educate people, preach to them, but all they need to do is provide entertainment. That's not even just video games. It's TV shows, movies, it's all about pandering, trying to uh, send a message. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I do remember this. And like, you know, I get it. they want to make it, you know, they want to teach these kids, you know, in a more interesting way because they know all kids care about nowadays is Fortnite and stuff and video games. So to educate these kids on, you know, their history, let's incorporate that into these games that they play. And it's like, it's fine, but like, again, video games are supposed to be about escapism. I don't want to be preached to. It's just like, this is a video game where you literally drop into a game, you drop into a map, you find weapons, and you kill each other. In the battle royale, and the spaceships, and aliens, superheroes as well, all those other cra cartoon characters shooting each other right into the death to win in the very end. Last one standing wins. Like, do we really need to be, you know, educating kids on black history and Martin Luther King in a video game like this? Is that really necessary? You know, like I don't play, I don't play, I don't play this game to be educated on my, you know, history. I don't play this game or any other game. I don't play Xenoverse to learn about African slave trade or anything like that. Like, I'm sure there's weirdos on Twitter who are praising, you know, Fortnite, praising Epic Games, praising the people who made this and, ah, oh, yes, they are, they do care about us. They are inclusive. Look at this inclusivity. Look at how inclusive they are. Like, it's, it's just, it's, it's definitely a, a PR move, man. They don't, like, <sighs> Epic Games is a company. It's a business. They just, you know, it's all about money. You know, they, they don't really care about any of this stuff. And that's pretty much it. Most people were not even really listening to the speech. I sort of was. Sort of wasn't because obviously I'm commentating and I'm also checking out the map. And because I've heard the speech before. It's like, I just don't see why it's necessary. No one asked for this. And again, this is coming from a black man. Like, they're pandering to us. 100% of virtue signal. To say, we are inclusive. We do care about the black community. Like... We never said you did it. You know, no one ever called you guys racist or not inclusive. So this the show the prove that you guys are inclusive. You do this. I just don't know, man. I'm sure I'm not the only one who just feels uncomfortable with this. Like, I mean, what are they gonna what are they gonna do next? Like, what are the what, what are the pieces of history are they gonna pull from? You know, um, are they gonna teach us about like you know you know the original thirteen colonies? I mean, what else are they gonna teach us about? Civil War, the Revolutionary War, like what else do we need to learn about? And honestly, you know, schools don't really teach about this kind of stuff either, right? Schools don't even really teach you, don't really teach kids about, you know, black kids about their history, you know, about Martin Luther King and all that stuff in regards to black history. Schools don't even do a good job in teaching you about that. But it's also not, you know, Epic Games' job. It's not the job of these video game companies to teach these kids either. They just need to make video games for people to, you know, escape from reality. If you want to learn about this kind of history, you do it yourself. You do the research yourself. Or, you know, the parent will teach the, teach the kids themselves. You know, it's not the job of a video game company to teach kids about this stuff. There are only five people left. Like, literally, most people are already left a long time ago because they just don't care. Like, you get the spray. I mean, like, who even uses sprays in this game? No one's, I guarantee no one's going to be using this spray. But I just, I just don't. Like, I don't want people in the comments saying, you just don't care about your history. How can a black person not care about their history? I, of course I care about my history. Of course I do. Like, growing up in a black family, of course. I mean, of course I know about my history. That's not something that just goes unhinged or whatever. But to have, you know, a video game having to, you know, basically preach to me about it, have to educate me about it, educate kids about it, just why? Dude, that's not your job. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is provide entertainment for kids. As a video game company, all you need to do 
is provide just that entertainment through gaming that's all you need to do you don't need to pander you don't need to virtue signal you don't need to do all this just for the sake of being inclusive i just i, I just cannot stand that that's literally what it is in this current uh in this current climate right now everything has to have everything has to be politically charged man i just don't like it that's just my two that's just my take on it man that's just my two cents on it Thank you.